Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Death Beach here, and today we're gonna talk about why crypto music, why NFTs, and this isn't gonna be so much like how to make millions of dollars, but we gotta talk about the technologies that are here in the world that is coming and why all of this is just so, so important. There is a brand new economy and financial system coming. This isn't a guess or anything like that. That is what is being implemented right now. The ultimate solution to all the problems that you're seeing in the world right now is blockchain and distributed ledger technology. It's gonna be used to fix all the supply chain issues. It's gonna be used to fix basic governance inside of workplaces and within small communities in the form of DAOs. A DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. That is something that we're not even gonna get into in this video, but it should illustrate for you the technology and the changes that are coming will completely disrupt your life. Now, if we look at an NFT as if it was an MP3, an MP3 within the greater context of the music industry is a small, small item. The NFT, while it is multi-dimensional and will allow for unbelievable interactions between you and your fans, it is just a small piece of all these other converging technologies that are pointing us towards the new economy and towards a completely new way of life. I cannot stress for you enough that this is happening and it's gonna happen uh, slower than it sounds like I'm talking about, but way faster than how you think it's gonna happen. Now, whenever we look at things like streaming technologies, right, like YouTube, Spotify, things like this, of course, it's not going away. It's going to stay here. However, its power in a few years will begin to wane as we officially move into this. Now, I'm talking about stuff years down the line. You're probably thinking like, why would I wanna know about it? Honestly, I've been learning about this stuff for over a year, like almost non-stop, and I've talked to some very educated people in this field, and all I can tell you is, if you think in four years you're gonna start learning about it, you're gonna have a four-year education that you now have to catch up on. Please start experimenting with these technologies now. In the event coming up, the Music NFT Hackathon, that is an excellent time to come in, learn about the technologies, and play with them at a price that you're just not gonna get anywhere else. And if you're thinking, hey, I can go over to Clubhouse or Twitter Spaces or whatever, sure, those are really crowded rooms where you're probably not gonna be able to ask your question. And to be honest with you, I've been in some of those rooms. I don't agree with a lot of the things that some of those people say. Now, some of the really high level sources, sure, but over at Clubhouse, there's been rooms that I've been in and I just think that they're giving the worst advice to independent music artists. Why? I don't think that they are seeing the industry in the way that I'm seeing it. And there's nothing particularly that makes me special. I've just done a lot of research and I'm looking at this from many, many different angles not just the blockchain angle, not just the NFT angle, not just, hey, smart contracts are cool, this technology is great, but there's a brand new economy coming that other people are going to want to control and dominate, right? So it's very important for you to understand this technology while you can move fast and make quick and nimble decisions and set up a business now that's gonna heavily benefit you in the future. We hear about this stuff called proof of work and how Bitcoin is really bad for the environment. Proof of work is Bitcoin's military. It is its defense strategy against any enemy that wants to try to crash, collapse, or corrupt the system. Currently, if you wanted to go to war with somebody, you would want to do economic war, you'd want to do trade war, and you'd probably do some form of psychological warfare as well. And by simply attacking the economy, you probably cover a lot of these bases all at once. Bitcoin, because there's no central place to attack and there's no way to print more and upset the Bitcoin economy, it's pretty secure. And we're seeing that play out right now. This type of idea is why NFTs are important because NFTs 
are an extension of this type of technology. What am I talking about? So Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency and it is a coin that lives on its own blockchain. Ethereum came along and decided that they wanted to be able to build applications on top of the blockchain. We use smart contracts to build these applications and create other fun meme tokens and things like that on the Ethereum blockchain. But what is the Ethereum blockchain and what is Web 3.0? What we are doing with blockchains like Ethereum is we are adding a layer of value to the internet. What does this mean? Currently, if there's an app built on top of the internet, it is governed by a centralized authority that money funnels through. Meaning people who create content and put it on that platform, that platform is the gatekeeper to an audience or a fan base. And they're also the gatekeeper to you getting paid for the content you're creating. With blockchain, what is going to happen is we have Ethereum layered in, and then we have applications built on top of Ethereum. What does this mean? This means that all the value gets settled on the Ethereum blockchain. So if I create something like an NFT, it gets written to the Ethereum blockchain. If somebody else creates an app that's a marketplace where I can sell that NFT, whenever it sells, that transaction actually happens on the Ethereum blockchain where I'm the original creator of the content, therefore I get paid. Now, of course, the, the application that's uh, housing the marketplace can charge some sort of fee, but in reality, I'm now making the bulk of the money for the content that I'm creating. Beyond this, this offers a level of security to your fan base and audience in that they always have access to the things that they're buying from you. Example, that marketplace goes down, the Ethereum blockchain still exists. Therefore, their products still exist. Now we have to get into things with, you know, uh, on-chain, off-chain, where you're actually storing the files and the data to make sure that it is indeed forever. A good forever resource for this type of stuff is a company called Arweave. They're essentially uh, the permanent internet. And then we begin to look at all these other technologies here that are beginning to all come together. This is the thing. I talk a lot about some very futuristic kind of stuff that seems hard to grasp, but what happens is all these individual technologies develop to a point to where they can start working together and then brand new worlds and technologies are created from this convergence. Now, this whole talk is not necessarily about all these different technologies. I want to stay focused on blockchain and distributed ledger technologies. These will be the technologies underpinning everything basically moving forward. Our financial system, retail, whenever we think of GDP, gross domestic product from a country, I think sovereign borders are going to dissolve uh, as far as this stuff is concerned. Like the American economy or the uh, European economy, the African economy, the Japanese economy, these things are going to begin to blur on the edges. And we're gonna have the Ethereum economy. And this is what allows for the creator economy. I talk a lot about live performance in the future and how I think that touring is just really gonna fizzle out and die I believe the rising costs of alcohol because getting the bottles and the caps and the cans and everything is becoming more and more expensive, which makes it more expensive on the venues. I believe certain types of restrictions that are in place are also going to make it very hard. And then finally, to top it all off, the amount of money a performer can make in one night performing in virtual reality online completely dwarfs what you could do in a year on tour. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that. Artists can make in one night, performing, live streaming, virtual reality, in one night what they could make in all year on tour. Now I hear the complaints. There's not enough bandwidth. People don't wanna do that, man. You're wrong. The fact of the matter is there's a bunch of people that want to do that and would prefer to do that and don't want to be inside of a bar that's charging them cover, charging them too much for drinks. I'd much rather be at home enjoying music in the way that I want to enjoy it 
with friends of mine. And technologies like 5G are gonna allow for like crazy bandwidth to be streamed everywhere. And it's gonna allow for virtual reality technology, extended reality technology, holograms, all this kind of stuff popping up everywhere. And there's other technologies like contact lenses that are gonna allow for uh, augmented reality and uh, extended reality to be broadcast over top of stuff while you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, walking around outside. There's going to be a whole new layer added to reality. This is going to be e-commerce type stuff. This is going to be entertainment type stuff. This is going to be uh, utility, useful type stuff, directions, maps, education, things like this. I think it's real important to say that I'm not trying to get you guys to make NFTs because I think that it's easy. It's just clearly the direction everything's moving in and it's going to become more and more difficult. So my, my rates to have me talk to you about this stuff continue to go up one because it's extremely in demand information, but also as time goes on, there is just more information that has to be explained to people. And that just simply takes a lot of time because there's a lot of questions. And then on top of it, the technology is extremely flexible. And as time goes on, it becomes more and more flexible. So here's the thing, you could wait five years and jump in whenever everything's fully developed. But at that point, the barrier to entry is gonna be very, very high. They're clearly setting up a system right now where the government is going to provide for you information, a wallet, probably some sort of UBI that's going to be in the form of a CBDC. But you're going to be completely detached from this other actual world that's taking place. Or you're going to have limited access to it. And the whole point is access. Now, I just threw out a bunch of information at you. And I want you to know that I'm going to go into more depth in this at the Music NFT Hackathon, link down below in the description. Go sign up right now. This is only happening once. I could do it again next year, but at that point, you're gonna be way too late and the price is gonna be way more. Also down in the description, the Crypto Music Club, free Discord, free for now. Eventually it will be paid, but come on over, join the discussion, You know, ask questions about this stuff, share your NFT work, and let's go ahead and smash that like button right now. It really helps out the channel.